Hi guys, Ryu here with Naritude for Blender and this one gonna showcase a really cool feature from Hardups. Now let's grab a cube and go to box cutter and make a cut in here, bevel this, and not too deep, just a little bit and shift to life. Now go to uh, Hardups with LW and then shift click on one of these shapes, let's grab a diamond. This will in insert the shape in the middle of this cutter, so if the cutter is deeper, it's gonna be in the middle, yeah, so be warned. So for example, if I go back to box cutter, make it really deep, right? And let's recall this cutter. And I'm gonna do the same thing, right? Let's grab a square, you see? Now it's in the middle, okay? And changing the um, the origin point of the cutter to the front doesn't really do anything, so I'm guessing the calculation of this one is a bit different. But it's always in the middle. You can move it, by the way, by hand. It's not a problem, right? So, you know, you can move it. As long as it stays within the parameters of the boolean, you're good because it's based on an in intersect boolean, okay? So, where is it here? Intersect, right? Now, when you hold control and right click on any of these, you know, um, of these dots, you'll have some settings uh, with, with which you can play and adjust the size or whatnot of these shapes. Now, the cool thing about this tool is that it works on a multiple cuts at the same time. So if I go to box cutter and, you know, create a few cuts in here, right? Okay. And I wanted to recall them. So um, recall all of them. Well, it's going to be a bit difficult. Let me just delete this too very quickly, right? Alt H and recall the cutters so you know all of them are here go to hard ops right and shift click on let's say circle you see it's gonna get inserted to every single um of these bullions and i can adjust this you know um all of them at the same time right so you can for example change the uh, vert count you know size of them you know you can change the, the pattern etc okay so this is pretty convenient um, so this one works with um, not with a uh, control and click, but it works with an F9. It's a bit different, okay? Now, if you, for example, wanted to do this in a circular fashion, okay? So let's grab a cylinder and let's um, you know let's let's just uh, let's just cut the shape in it. So go to uh, with box cutter to a view mode. And let's let's you know let's grab a circle in here. So go to circle and let's just cut a circle in the middle of this. Okay. Then if you wanted to you know insert this pattern all around, what you will need to do is actually um, shift D this and rotate it around the around the cursor. It will not work with an array because array it's one cutter. So it will insert the shape for all the cutters at the same time and it's just gonna get messed up. So shift D and and hold control and then shift r around this right around this uh, cylinder and i got uh, you know several cuts now what we need to do is select all of them okay select the shape and difference right now we're going to select all the shapes and go to hard ups right and we're gonna insert one of these buggers okay so let's go with the uh, yeah let's go with a circle okay and there you go now you see that because these cutters are so so long it inserted them outside the circle, but it's not a, uh, outside the cylinder. Not a big deal. You can just grab, you know, every single one of them, right? And simply move them manually. So what you do is uh, G, Z, Z, and move them inside, right? The only problem is that now um, they're not going to be uh, deformed to the size of this cylinder. So you need to unfortunately do it manually. But if these cuts are really tiny, you know, no, no one's going to really notice this, but there you go. So that's how you use this tool. It's a lot of fun. Try it out and um, enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. As usual, links to many add-ons like Box Cutter, Hard Ops, Mesh Machine, Decal Machine, Smudger Pro and Cablerator are in my video description. I use these add-ons on a daily basis and in my, you know, bread and butter of my daily, daily workflow, I highly recommend every single one of them. So get them through the links, you're going to help me as well. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.